Welcome back. And I really hope that you've managed to get on top of the accents and the left hand fingering. It's a right old journey. I still play those scales myself. Most days I'll play the two octave scales just to wake up my playing. Um, there's almost a yogic quality to, to that kind of practice. Um, there's no underestimating the power of a, of a lovely scale session. There's more to it though, there's more to it. Key awareness. Now the whole point of the of the Guitar Academy for me is is becoming a broader musician. Uh, that includes myself as well. Um, and key awareness and turning this blank black plane surface into something which is more is more like a for me the guitar fingerboard is is a rainbow. It's a rainbow of keys and notes. And wherever I go, I know what the notes are and I know how they relate to each other. So it really is in Technicolor. It's not a black fingerboard with silver frets for me. It's more than that and it's a lovely thing to use scales to try and unlock your knowledge of keys and to really feel what key you're in as you play. You probably think I'm a crazy man. And what I'm going to do is play that sequence for you without the accents and underneath we're going to flash up the music um, on staff notation of the two octave scale. And you'll see that each time I change position, the key changes. And you can tell that the key changes by looking at the key signature. Over on the, on the left-hand side by the treble clef, you'll see either a sharp, which looks like a hashtag, or a flat, which looks like a tadpole, or several sharps and several flats. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about exactly how many, what they mean. But just get used to the idea that a key has a key signature and musicians will recognise the key as they are confronted with it and it changes the way you feel and the way you hear the music. So just use this as another practice session for your two octave scales but treat the music as a curiosity. The key is written at the start of each piece. We start in G, here's the music for the G scale, it's got one sharp, it's a sharp key. We call that a sharp key. Here's the music for the next scale. One up from G, there are only seven letters in the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it goes back to A again, but it's A flat. Four tadpoles, isn't that amazing? Here's the music for the next one. Three sharps, you go from flats to sharps. You make these amazing technicolor changes as you go up the fingerboard. Enough, enough madness. Enjoy playing the scales. Have a little peek at the music as you go along. I'll announce what key you're in and let your ears do the rest. Let your ears hear the chromatic progression as you go up, chromatic, one note at a time. If you're on a piano, you play all the black and white keys. That's chromatic. So we're gonna start on the scale of G. You should know these thoroughly. No accents, a little bit faster, so. We're playing at MF, moderately loud, mezzo forte. And we're going to make that change each time we're going to go up a semitone with that perfect little switch where the thumb comes up. That's the idea, but with the music and the keys. We're going to start, ladies and gentlemen, in the key of G major, one sharp. Here we go. One and two and index middle. Keep that alternation going as you go through the scale. F sharp, G. As we come down, we leave G. Goodbye. We're in A flat. You are playing on a flat key. Here we go again. Bye bye flats. We're in A major. That's actually quite a guitar-y key, A major. Fiddle players like early sharp keys as well. An early sharp key doesn't have many sharps in it. And there's B flat, we're back in the flats. Back in the world of flats. Hope you're managing to keep going here. Index, middle, index, middle, index, middle. Here we go, sharps, 
the most so far. We're in five sharps now, B major. Index A sharp, that's an unusual sharp. Now what's happened here? C major, no sharps, no flats. On the piano, that's all the white keys. No black keys. Here we go, back into flats. D flat. There's a whole collection of tadpoles there for you. And to end with, one of the most guitar-y keys of D. We're gonna stop at the end of this, two sharps. Middle index, C sharp. We're gonna end on the D. And the D. Let's play a D chord. There you have it. The keyboard, the fretboard, the fretboard, is just a rainbow of colours and different keys. So perhaps sometimes when you play your scales, you can try and think through the keys or replay that film, join in, think about the keys. I'll see you on the next Technique Accelerator.